Let's take a look at how you can add requirements to a module in Canvas. Adding requirements allows you to set parameters for students on how they work through the work in the, the module. For example, I might want to use requirements if I want students to complete all of the things in the module in a specific order, or maybe I want to have them choose one thing from a module so they get some choice out of it, but they have to do one before they can move on to maybe the next module. So the first thing that I want to set up is make sure I have my module set up. I've created any pages or assignments or quizzes, just like I have been in the past, and then I've added them to my module. So here's my module here with the dark gray. If there's anything I want to add, I can click the plus sign. I can use the drop down at the top and choose what I'm looking for. So like assignments, and I have my list of assignments, or I can click create assignment and create a brand new assignment right from here. I can do the same thing with pages um, or quizzes or discussions as well. So that's step one is making sure you have the things in your module and then publishing your module or getting ready to publish your module here. So I have the items in there. Some of them are pages, some of them are assignments. I could put discussions and quizzes. I can have whatever I want in this module. To add the requirements, I'm gonna to go to the head of the module here and come over to the three little dots and edit. And here is where I can add my requirements. So move this over to the side so that I can see my, my pieces as I go. I'm going to click add requirement. So I have a couple of check boxes I need to decide on before getting started. The first one is students must complete all of these requirements. I think that's the default one that's on. So if they want them to complete everything in the module, make sure that stays on. If you want to give them some choice and you put three assignments in there and they have to complete one of them before moving on, then you can check this box that says students must complete one of these requirements. For this example, I want them to complete all of them. And the next layer down is students must move through the requirements in sequential order. I'm going to check that box. If it was a situation where I didn't care what order they went in, I just wanted it all done, I could leave that unchecked. And then the kids would be free to, to complete the, the pieces of it how they see fit but I want, to, I want them to go in my order. So I'm gonna click that. Next, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna set my first requirement. So the first thing I have over here is actually just a page. It's called Math Explorer. I have that in my dropdown. I can click my dropdown and change if I need to. And then what is the requirement is over here. Just view the item, meaning once the, the page is open, that's, that's good enough. Do I want them to have to mark it as done or contribute to the page? For this one, I'm going to have a mark is done. And what that means is they're going to open the page and maybe there's a video to watch. Maybe there's an article to read. You know, remember a page is just kind of to consume content. It's not necessarily turning anything in, but I want them to tell me that they, that they actually did look at it at least. So by doing mark is done up in the top right corner of their screen, they will have a little box that will say mark is done and they'll click it and a little green bubble will fill in. So that's that requirement. I want to add another one. The next one I have down is my 310 apply perimeter. So I'm going to change that to my assignment. With assignments, I get kind of the same options as view the item and mark is done. But then I also get options like submit the assignment, meaning they have to submit something before they can move on, or score at least, meaning I can set it for an assignment or quiz even that they have to score a certain number of points before they can move on. For this one, I'm just going to do submit the assignment. So they have to submit something to be able to move on to the next assignment. I'm going to add a requirement. The next thing I have is Math Explorer 2, which is just a page. I'm going to set that one to Mark is Done. So again, they'll get that little Mark is Done bubble to fill in up here. And then my last requirement here will be for my perimeter assignment. I'm actually going to change this one to Score at Least. It tells me that the assignment is out of five points. I want them to score at least a three before they are able to move on. I've got all the things set how I want it, and I'm going to update my module. Um, it's telling me that I'm changing some requirements as far as publishing things. Yes, I want that because I want to have it save. Now you can see here that underneath each one, it tells me the requirement that I've put. This one is a mark is done. This one is they must submit it. Mark is done. And this one is score at least. When I go into student view, the students will actually see that as well. So when they go, they can see the other things that are there, but they can't get to it until they complete this one. Notice how this one is like bolded black and these are all gray. And it tells them what they have to do. They have to mark it as done. Thank you. They have to submit this one. They have to mark this one as done and they have to score at least a three on this assignment. So that's 
pretty much the basics of setting up requirements for your modules in Canvas.